I do not love you. I barely know you. What kind of a lady do you take me for? Sir, I do love you. I've always loved you. noon? I brought the wood that you uh, put an order in for. I also mm. noticed that you have a whole month's supply left. How come you needed just a small order? Well, Lucy is going to have a dinner party next week, and I didn't want to fall behind on wood. Didn't know if you were going to be busy next week, so I wanted to get some already. Okay. Can you load up the firebox for me? Yeah, I can do that. Come on. Yeah, this is some good oak wood. Get a very good pop. Thanks for bringing it. You're welcome. So I heard from a little bird that today's your birthday. Or tomorrow's your birthday? Well, I'm not exactly sure on the date, but I was always told the beginning of June. And I believe June is coming up real soon. Today is a good day for you because I got a surprise for you. I hope you have some time today. Do you have some time? No, uh, this is my last stop today. Okay, well I got some chicken for you and cookies and cookies cake. That sounds delicious. Can you stay? Uh, I think I can. It wouldn't be proper of me all buried like this to eat dinner. I'll have you home by sundown. I'll have to clean up if that's okay. Of course. Okay. I'm Always gonna, a gentleman, clean up for me. I'm gonna bring in some more of your wood that you got out there, because your box is oh, pretty thank empty. You. Thank you. Hurry back. I might miss you. I'll go as fast as I can. Ron, could you put some more wood in the fire? Yeah. I need a big, healthy fire to cook that chicken. Alright, we'll get her going. So, how do you plan on preparing this chicken today? My signature style with lemon. I stuff a lemon inside of it and I put butter, salt, and pepper. It's juicy. 
Wow, I ain't had a lemon in years. How did you acquire such fine, exotic fruits? Well, honestly, I had to save up my pennies from selling candles every fortnight. Yeah? I've kind of been preparing for a bit. I heard about your birthday two months ago. Wow. How long of a walk is it for you? Uh, it took me about three and a half hours. When I got the wagon and horses, it takes about four hours, but with the wheel reel today, it was pretty quick. You must be exhausted. I did work up after side, so I'm glad you said something about chicken. Would you like to have some cookies? You made cookies too? Oh, those are beautiful. Honestly, I made them just for you. Did you really? I did. You can take all these home with you if you want. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll put them in my haversack and I'll do that. This will keep you for a couple days. I'd like to try one, but my hands are really filthy. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Jack, is there, you got something where I can wash up real quick? We have a well, the courtyard, will that do? Yeah, that'll do fine. Okay. I'll take care of this bag for you while you're out. I missed you. Did you? I did. Well, you look dashing. I cleaned up a little bit. I notice. <laughs> also got you something. Oh, that's really beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, what a gentleman. Not bad for a backwoods man. I, I would say so. That's why I missed you. You're a lovely gentleman. Now you said something about cookies? Right over there. Always thinking with your stomach. I'm going to go for one of these butter drop cookies. They are my favorite. I hope you like them. I put all spice in there. That's my secret ingredient. Some put mace or cinnamon. They're delicious. Are they the best you ever had? Oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> Queen's cake. And those are more butter drop cookies. I just put them in my favorite mold. You can take all of those home if you'd like. How are your horses doing? Good. My mare just had a little filly last week. Oh, congratulations. Is she healthy? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you're about this tall. 
That's good. Brown, yeah. solid brown. Can I come over sometime and see her? Yeah, mm. absolutely. I like walking anyway. It's a three hour walk to your place. I don't mind it. It's good exercise. <sighs> They say that's healthy for you, it makes you live a long life. Yeah, I believe I read that in Dr. Franklin's uh, little pamphlet he print, printed mm -hmm. out some odd years ago. So anything new in your life? Anything exciting? Hmm. Honestly, no, not really. You're the most exciting thing in my life right now. I noticed you're wearing a new dress today. Is that new? Oh, that? <laughs> I've not seen it before. Yeah, I, that's another thing I saved up my pennies for. This is my best dress. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. I remember you have a red vest and a blue vest. I do. I also have a white vest. I don't wear it often. That's part of an old military uniform. When I served under Colonel Stevenson back in 12 mm -hmm. through 14. Perfect. Oh, that is falling apart. Leg and part of the thigh. Thank you, it's perfect. I'm gonna go for the breast. I'll wait till you eat so I can eat. Okay. There aren't many women in their 20s that aren't married yet. Or widowed. <laughs> I know, I'm a bit late. I'm not quite old enough to be a spinster, but I'm of marriage age. Mm-hmm. You cook like this, you'll attract someone. I sure hope so.